In our previous lesson, we had seen how vectorization can help you in speeding up your computation. And uh, we had also seen one example of uh, multiplying element-wise vector elements, that is taking their dot product and uh, the vector size were 1 million length and we had seen a 100x improvement using vectorization technique. So in this lesson, we will see some more examples of vectorization uh, using NumPy and then we will also see that how we can get rid of some of the for loops that we used in our earlier logistic regression derivative calculation. So let's begin. Let's say you are doing a matrix vector multiplication and A is a matrix and V is a vector. It can be any length, uh, let's say N cross M and V has to be M cross 1. Then uh, what will be the, the result? The result U will be a vector of size N cross 1. And each element, let's say we are talking about UI, its calculation will be done using AIJ, VJ. And we will loop J, uh, takes the values of all the columns, M values. Similarly, V has M values. So this row of matrix and the complete vector. This uh, element-wise multiplication will be used to calculate just one value. And the same thing we will do for n plus 1 items. So uh, if we have to do it uh, in a non-vectorized fashion, how we will do? We will write u equal to np dot zeros. And we know that its length is n cross 1. So we will initialize it to n comma 1. So it has initialized a 0 vector, 0, 0 having n elements. Now we will start a loop for i in range n elements so n and there will be one further loop for j in range m so there are two nested loops one for rows one for columns outer loop denotes one element of the result and inner loop denotes this multiplication m times 1 is to 1 element wise and uh, using that we will calculate ui it's initialized to 0 so we can add to it aij multiplied by vj and then this loop will end. So this is the non-vectorized way of implementing it. In our previous video, we had seen that if we just do dot product of two vectors, then only we achieved significant gain by using vectorization. Uh, assume what will be the gain here if we have n and m are very large and we have two loops here. So the gain can be even more than that. So this would be the non-vectorized way. Now let's see how we can use a vectorized implementation of this. So we will simply write u equal to np dot and we pass the matrix and vector. So this takes care of everything. So that's all. And the rule of thumb is that whenever you can avoid explicit for loops, you should do that. Uh, there will be some scenarios where you will, will not be able to uh, get rid of the loops. Those will be necessary. But whenever it's possible, you should always look if there is some implementation available in NumPy or some other uh, highly efficient library, then you should avoid the for loop. Now let's look at some more examples of uh, vector matrix functions in NumPy. So let's say we want to calculate the element-wise exponent of this vector. We have a vector v, it is n cross 1. And we want a resulting vector u, where each element is e raised to the power v1, e raised to the power v2, and so on, e raised to the power vn. So same length, but its values are different. And here is a non-vectorized uh, calculation of this thing. 
uh, again the length is n cross 1 so we initialize a vector of zeros n cross 1 then we loop from 0 to n minus 1 and then we calculate each element separately math.txv vi so it will calculate e raised to the power vi and we do it for all the n elements and we populate the value now let's see how we can do it uh, using vectorized uh, implementation of numpy so we will simply write let me write this can be replaced with u equal to np dot exp v and we are done so it not only simplifies the code it also gives you tremendous amount of computation power it saves lot lots of time and now let's see uh, what are some some of the other functions that are available for vector matrix in uh, calculations this is exp is one of these uh, similarly we have np dot log and you can pass here a vector so this does element wise exponent instead of explicit for loop similarly np dot log v does element wise log of this then we have np dot abs so if we want the absolute value of all the elements of a vector we don't need to do it in this fashion but we can simply use this inbuilt abs in numpy it will do it element wise then we have some more functions like np dot maximum and we pass a vector and also a value against which we want to compare so each element will be compared against zero and whatever is the minimum that value will be retained similarly we have minimum then we have we can use v star star 2 or 3 or whatever value you want for element wise power and we can also have write like 1 by v so it will do element wise if elements are 1 2 3 and we do like this the result will be 1 1 over 2 1 over 3 so it will do element wise division so uh, if there is a possibility of using this kind of function and there are many many more functions uh, you should explore it and whenever you require some functionality you should first check if some uh, inbuilt uh, implementation is already there or not now let's see the logistic regression derivatives calculation example that we saw earlier and uh, we had said that uh, this is the total cost function that will be calculated at the end of this for loop and this 1 to m denotes for m training examples so here m denotes training example and we had used this dw1 and dw2 and db as accumulators for uh, calculating this del j over del w1 uh, so this will accumulate the value of all the m training examples and finally we divided with m to get the average to get this value and once we get these del j by del w1 del j by del w2 and del j by del b we do the update step that is w1 becomes w1 minus alpha times del j by del w1 and so on and here uh, w1 w2 denotes that we have two features so here n is 2 if we had let's say 1000 features then we do it for w1 w2 w3 all the way up to w1000 and we had said that uh, this has two loops one is this outer loop for training examples and this is for inner loop j equal to 1 to n and this denotes the number of features so we will uh, repeat this feature dwj equal to plus equal to so there are two loops so here we will get rid of uh, one of the loops and later in some later lesson we will see how to get rid of both the loops so how can we get rid of this here you see just two elements but it can be thousand as well if we have thousand features 
So first of all, we will store it in a vector. We don't need this d1 and d2. We will not use them. Instead, we will have one or dw. So we can have dw equal to np dot zeros and whatever is the number of features n so this is a vector first one denotes dw1 dw2 and here dwn and then what we will do uh, here we will replace this entire thing by uh, dw plus equal to xi so this x will also be a vector. We are writing x1, x2, feature vector. So this vector and uh, we multiply with del L over del G for i. And instead in the code, you will not be writing like this. You will have some uh, variable in place of this. For example, let's say dz or you can give any variable name but it means this thing and this step will be done and finally when this loop ends again we will not do these instead we will do dw divided by m and we are done so this will again do the division in a vectorized fashion not for each element here also we will need a loop for dividing each element by m similarly here is a loop we have avoided all of those and now we are left with just one loop this outer loop and we will see how to get rid of that loop in some later lesson so we will be able to do one step of gradient descent for logistic regression without even a single loop